welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the second part of the video for the taco from eBay and I'll just go through how to set up the functions of this taco now. So if you haven't seen my first video check that out, go through all the wiring. But uh, just to start off with, if you power supply power once it's wired up, does a sweep, <clears throat> um, you can see that Hopefully you can see it's now in kilometres per hour. If you want to change from metric to imperial, so kilometres to miles, at the back there's a little button here. So what you do, press that button down, hold it three seconds, and see it changes to miles an hour. Press it again, hold it another three seconds, back to kilometres an hour. Uh, in terms of the display, so you've got the taco itself, you've got the speed. You've got the odometer. Uh, it does tell you what gear it's in down here, but as you can see at the moment, uh, at the top here, it's saying it's in neutral. There's the fuel, and in this corner, when it runs, there's a little battery symbol, and that battery symbol will light up when the charge is uh, less than a certain voltage. I haven't bothered to measure it, but it's probably something like less than 13 volts, and that light comes up. So overall, very good taco. One thing it doesn't have is an oil light. So what you can do is what I did is I, I plugged in my oil sensor to my start button. So it, uh, this light here, once it starts, uh, will go out, which will represent that the oil pressure is okay. So I'll just quickly start it and you can see. So you can see the oil light went out there. If I turn it back on, there we go. Okay, so in terms of the speedo, uh, there are five fields. Um, there are some instructions in the description. Uh, it's from China. It's really, I would say, it's written in Chinglish. Um, very hard to understand. So I'll go through uh, what I've found and how it actually works. So to get into the mode settings, turn it off. And before you turn it on, there's a button at the back. So what you need to do is have that button pressed and turn it on. Um, hold the button down for five seconds and it will go into mode one. Now the instructions talk about this mode one uh, being the circumference of the tyre, which is correct, but it says the range is between 50 and uh, 2600. Uh, I don't believe that's right. So I think the range is from, uh, it might be less than 50 or about 50, but it, it, I can actually get it to go up to 2,999. So let's firstly just turn this off. I'll show you how to work out the circumference. Righto, so to measure the circumference of the wheel, uh, there is a couple of ways you could do it. You could use a string, I suppose, and go around the tyre. That's a bit primitive. The best way is get a tape measure or ruler and measure the diameter, the total diameter of the tyre and in this case it's 430mm. All you need to do then is um, calculate pi which is 3.142 roughly and it's in your calculator by the diameter so pi d is the circumference uh, just in case you've forgotten from school or maybe you were off sick that day when you were learning about pi. So anyway, in this case, 430 times pi is going to give me the circumference which works out close enough to 1350. Restart it with the button pressed at the back. Get this into the mode 1. So, 1's right, when it when it starts flashing on the 9, I simply press the button at the back to get the right diameter. So I want to be 1, 2, 13, 50. So now I'll just wait and it will toggle over to the 7. So I need 13, 50. Simply press the back. 13, 55 is getting close. And then wait for the last number. And so this is mode one, 
is the circumference. So there we go. Now what I can do to get to mode 2, I hold the button at the back for about 3 seconds and it will go to mode 2. There we go. Now mode 2, you can see there's those two lights flashing. Uh, it says 01 now. Um, what mode 2 is, it also relates to the speed. So you need two things. You need the circumference of the tyre and then you need to know how many magnets are on the pickup wheel. So this number here is the, the total number of magnets. So I'll just show you what I've done. On the back disc, see here, on the back disc, there's the sensor. Now you set this sensor up with a small gap, as you can see here. About probably, let's see if I can get a different view. You want that gap to be about, uh, you know, a couple of mil. So, just so you can see here, uh, just there, that's actually one of the magnets. So what I did, drilled the end of the bolt out, and I stuck the magnet in and glued it in. So I've got two. So I've got two magnets on my pickup wheel. Mode three in the instructions say, tire rotating speed. That, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. What it really is, is that's the engine speed. So, uh, it comes on one. If you've got a one cylinder, do not touch this. If you change this to something other than one, it won't go back to one again. In my case, I've got a four cylinder and I've got two coils. So for that reason, it's uh, sparking as though it's a two cylinder. So your options are one cylinder, two cylinder and four cylinder. So you just need to pick this correctly in mode three to get your engine uh, speed right. So if you don't have that right, when I first did it, I had four cylinders instead of two, not remembering that I had two coils and the reading of the speedo or taco is only half of what it should be. Mode four relates to the fuel sensor. So this one has two modes. There's option two or three. Uh, that relates to the resistance of the fuel sender unit. So I'm not sure the resistance for three, but for what I have, it lines up to number two and mode five is simply to reset the odometer. So mine's still on zero. Don't know why you'd ever need this, but that's what mode 5 is. Once you're done, you you could hold this down for a few seconds to save the settings. Like I'm doing here, it does a, um, a sweep and then it's back to normal. Or you could just turn it off. Now, one problem I have is my fuel is showing that it's nearly full, but in fact it's nearly empty. So whilst I have the right resistance, it's working in reverse. My fuel sender unit is set up so that uh, empty is uh, 10 ohms and full is about 100 ohms, which is backwards to what I need. So uh, what I'm going to do is pull the fuel, fuel sender unit out and see if I can reverse the signal. So the other thing is if you just have this flashing or you don't have a fuel... Um, fuel meter and you just want to stop the flashing behind here the blue and white cable is for the fuel sender uh, that's the only one you need to worry about just earth that cable when you earth it this will show a full signal on fuel okay so I'll just sort out this um, fuel sender unit and other than that this is all set up properly Here's the sender unit out of the tank. That's how it was working, which was back to front. So what I did is just heated it up, reversed it 180 degrees, and that reversed the resistance, so it worked perfectly with this taco. Just put a bit of petrol in, let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Yes! There we go. Working beautifully.
okay so the fuel it actually has a bit of a delay so that that doesn't jump around and look at that very very happy so there you go guys and girls hopefully that's helped you set this speedo up or taco and uh, any uh, any questions just let us know but stay tuned have a look at my other videos and also the build of this actual uh, race mower there you go hope that helps stay tuned